What's good? It is your boy, Bait Man. Welcome back to my channel, dog. We're at work again. Sorry. <laughs> Ghetto video, Bait Man. But before we get started, make sure you do one thing for me. Spam up the lockdown gang, a.k.a. LDG in the building, man. So today, I think I cracked the code. I think I finally cracked the code, and I know when we're getting information, 2K actually really told us about information. As you're looking at these ratings of the players that they're dropping right now, 2K literally put it out in writing in regards to when we was going to get specific information, and we didn't read it. We just thought when it said in August, we, we didn't read the contextual things of what it actually said. So, I wanted to break it down for my LDG gang and everybody else who come in and rock with us. So, let's talk about the major news that's going to be coming in these next few weeks. Because 2K literally did tell us. We just didn't read it correctly. And I'm not throwing no shade at y'all. I'm just telling you the truth. We didn't read it. Even myself, I've been going crazy. But if I just read, I would have knew. Anyway, on-court gameplay will be happening next week, and I'm going to tell you why. When you see in this courtside report, they said key on-court gameplay improvements are being implemented to give the players not only more control over how to score the ball, but also how to counter those moves on the defensive end. That's only the beginning. More impact. I want y'all in this in bold too, chat. It's in bold. So this being in bold lets, uh, lets us know that this is coming at a specific time. It's in bold letting or lettering or whatever. And it said more impactful gameplay changes will be introduced along with the first NBA 2K22 gameplay reveal trailer coming out later. Listen to that part. Later. L-A-T-E-R. Later in August. Right now, we're still in the middle of August, so it's not late August. So that means if you look at the calendar, if you pay attention to the calendar, late August will be next week. Late August is the the last week of August before we start going into September. So late August, we're going to get some gameplay news next week. I think the gameplay in the trailer will be coming next week as far as like gameplay changes and things like that. Now, also coming in late August, probably going to be the next following week. I think they're going to drop two things next week. I mean, not next week, but the week after next, after the gameplay. And that is going to be when it talks about seasons. Seasons. I want you to see when it talks about the seasons, tell you about all the things that's going to be happening in the season. And then look at the bow text. We didn't read it. We didn't read the bow text. We didn't pay attention to the bow text. Even myself didn't pay attention to the bow text. It said it in fine print print. It said it in fine print print when it was going to start releasing information. We just didn't read it. And it says it right here. More details for seasons will be revealed about the expanding season experience later in August. Later in August. Usually they start with the gameplay trailer and then they go into specific details of the stuff. So the week after next, not 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 this week, not next week, but the week after that week, the week where it leads into early September, that is when we're going to get some season news because that's still in late August. I'll be surprised if they drop the gameplay news and the season news the same week. I doubt that. But I think it's going to be coming the week after next in late August, the very last week of August. OK, very last week of August. Again, I don't like it, but they said it. They, they pretty much said it. So we can't be really mad to a degree because they told us exactly what we was getting okay and then what's coming in september what's coming in september when it talks about the cruise and the my career and all that amazing good stuff the cruise and the city and those things look at it it says it in bold stay tuned in early september early September. You can expect this. You can expect this. If you're looking at the calendar chat, you can expect this the week of the game release. 
That is still early September. That is still early September. And the information for my career. (laughs) So that means that the information for my career, the information my career will be coming the round September 1st, September 2nd, September 3rd. They could do two things. They could drop both of those things together on the same week, which will be in September 7th because Labor Day is on Monday. So they're not going to drop no information on that. But you can see them dropping some information either September 7th when it comes to the My Career in the city. If they're going to do it separately, you can expect My Career coming the week of Labor Day, probably on the 2nd of uh, September. If it's going to be together, then it's going to be on the 7th or the 8th of September. They will not drop it the day before the game release because the game comes out on pretty much, uh, if you're on the U.S., on September 9th at 9 p.m. If you're on the East Coast, uh, September 10th at 12 a.m. and whatever coast you're on. But that's they, they let us know. They let us know exactly what they was going to do, Chad. They told us. We just didn't read it. And so, yes, we can be mad at 2K because they're waiting super duper late, but they literally told us exactly when they was going to release information. So now we're getting these player ratings. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with the player ratings. I'm kind of confused why they made LeBron, Giannis, and Kevin Durant the same rating. I guess they're saying those are the top three players. Oh, I can't even forget about Steph Curry. Those are the top four players in the league. And and I, that's not bad. In my opinion, it's not. That's not necessarily too bad to a degree or whatever. I just thought that Giannis would be, he won a championship. He was an MVP. I thought he was going to be like a 97, 98 overall, but that's 2K in their logic. They didn't want to do that. I thought Kevin Durant would probably be a 96, 97. I thought LeBron would probably go down to 95 uh, because of the injury, but um, it didn't work out that way. I can see where they gave Steph Curry. Uh, the Joker got a 95. Shout out to him. Damian Lillard got a 94. So some people really did some things. And then, you know, uh, LaMelo Ball, 84. So dope, dope, dope. They also talked about uh, Candace Parker and the women's ratings and things like that, as you can see. But this is amazing. This is dope. This is dope. You can, sell, you can see the graphics look good. I, I don't think they do body scans, though. I can tell that the body scans of these players don't be looking right. It don't be looking right. But I I think it's more so facial scans. I think the next thing will be body scans. And then um, the next thing also, too, would be defensive animations as well. We'll talk about that tomorrow on things that I feel that 2K needs to add to improve on their gameplay. Uh, But again, chat, gameplay news is coming next week. Okay, and then we will be having some season information the following week. And then if they're going to do the My Career stuff, you can expect it on September 2nd or maybe even Friday before Labor Day. And then you can expect the last courtside report if they're going to do it separate on September 8th or the 7th. If they're doing it together, expect that information on the 7th or the 8th. And you can expect um, the My Career, I mean, not the My Career, but the season information on the Tuesday if they're going to separate this. So if they're not going to separate this, then they're going to drop it the following week on the same week. So gameplay and the season stuff will be on the Wednesday because it's looking like Wednesday is their day. Wednesday will be the quote unquote day, would be which will be August 25th. And then the following week will be September 1st. And then the the and that may could be what they do. They may could be exactly what they do. Uh, September 8th will be the last day of a courtside report, which will focus on the cruise ship, the city and the set address. So those are the options days I'm going with. Those are my predictions. I could be wrong, but I'm going to say on the safe bet, if they're going to do it together, then you can see it on the 25th of next week the 1st of of September and the 8th of September. And if they're going to do it separately, then you can see the 25th of next week 
uh, the 31st and the 2nd and then the 8th. It just depends on how they're going to do it. If they're going to, knowing 2K, they probably just bring them together so we can see information the 25th and then uh, the, the My Career stuff on the 1st and then the park and information things on that nature on the 8th. So I'm going to go on that one. I'm going to go 25th, the 1st, the 8th. Those three, you're going to get information. But starting next week, we're going to get gameplay and the actual gameplay trailer next Wednesday. I'm going on a limb to say next Wednesday we're getting that information. Uh, and I could be wrong, but I know some news is coming next week. Major, major, major news is coming next week. Y'all let me know in the comments below how do y'all feel about that. Again, they told us. They told us exactly all that stuff in the beginning. So we can't be mad at 2K. I mean, you can be, but you can't be at the end of the day. Live life, stress less, you're rocking one of the best. Without God, my life would be a mess. If you want tips on how to make the best build, check out that video right there. It's your boy, Beck. Always remember to have faith, hope, and love. Deuces.